ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Aqua Brain. I am your Virgil Drew. On today's show, we got a very special episode. This one's called The State of the Drunian. Yeah, yeah, that's right. State of the Drunian. All right, it's just me today. We're going to talk about what's going on, right? So I'm working on an audio only show right now. Unfortunately, I did an interview. I did a couple of interviews with this guy, uh, Tim Levitt. And you guys might know him. Uh, anyway, so we did a couple of interviews and yeah, we just weren't happy with the first two. Um, the second one was awesome. Um, lots of content. And <laughs> like the idiot I am, I made a Bush League mistake and dump the video but i still have the audio so i am able i was able to string together a pretty decent episode it will have some visual accompaniment uh I, i'm lo gonna load it up on youtube so there will be some visual accompaniment but really it's an audio only so you could just just turn it on and and uh, you don't need to watch just listen um Anyway, you're going to learn lots of stuff. You're going to hear great stories. Kind of get a, get a snapshot of, of uh, snow skate history. Um, definitely a good time. Uh, we're also working on a new show called The Safety Break. And this one is, uh, is real special. It's a, uh, it's a gentleman that I like to spend a lot of time with. And uh, we would... You know, we worked construction together. We did some uh, window installation and whatnot. Um, anyway, so safety break, that was just kind of a, a thing. So we're, we're going to do a show called The Safety Break. Um, not too much information on that just yet. We're just going gonna to get one out and uh, see how you guys feel about it. So make sure you comment and subscribe if there's anybody who wants you want to see an interview with or you want me to talk about. I'm open to suggestions, so go ahead and, and leave that in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that bell because uh, then you know when I put new videos out. So that's always good. Um, so let's just get into the CVBS, which is happening right now, right? So I'm not going to say anything about it because I don't know anything about it, but what I do know is how it's affecting me. And there are a few things that have become major things that I've lost, right? So, and right, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Come on, you're watching this and you're saying, look at all the stuff I lost. Well, yeah, we're all affected by this, right? So, so Mia and I got passes this year. Right. So we got we actually got passes for next year uh, to the local ski resort and we decided what the heck we'll pay for the pass to be good the rest of the spring. We're like, you know what? There's plenty of snow. There's good. You know, we'll get we'll get a couple of days. We'll get our money's worth. Right. So we went one day. She hurt her tailbone, and, and so that kind of set her back a little bit. I got a, I got a couple more days in, which was great. Uh, and then right as her tailbone was starting to feel better, we're like, all right, next weekend we're going, right? We're doing this. Boom. Shut down, right? Shut down. And there's been snow. Like, it's dumped up there. I think it was dumping. I don't know if it was dumping is, is the right word, but it definitely snowed up there yesterday. And it's like, come on, man. There's been sunny days. There's been snow powder days. Unbelievable, right? So that's definitely something I missed. All that quality time that I would have been able to spend up on the slopes doing something I love, something that she's coming to love. Uh, it's great, right? Except for gone. Okay. Second daughter, Audrey. So I, I love taking her shopping, right? She's my shopping buddy. If I have to go out to the grocery store, I always want to take her. I don't know. She's just fun, right? Super fun. She's got me wrapped around her finger. So we always end up walking out of the store with something for her uh, almost every time. I mean, it's, 
it's a it's very few and far between when we don't um try not to spoil her but uh i think maybe i am a, a tiny bit so anyway i was talking with my wife and uh she's just like you know what i don't i don't want her to go out to the stores anymore and uh that hurts that hurts that's something i love doing with her you know that's time i love, love spending with her and uh you know it's just it's very sad um and and you know we're talking about kathy well kathy and i we started we've got the 13 and three and she's done the babysitting training and and all the stuff so now we're starting to get date nights and we actually did start going on a couple of date nights and we had a lot of fun and you know this was starting to get going you know we we're like all right we're gonna start doing them make this a thing you know i don't know friday night or whatever right <laughs> nope oh sorry everything's closed unbelievable right unreal and then my job so i lost my job which i kind of thought was going to happen anyway uh Sadly, um, due to the fact I did not want to get my shot, my flu shot, I was not going to be able to work at my, in my current position. Well, the company had come up with, you know, a, a couple ideas that I could do, you know, to stay on with the company. They liked me. And so just, I had to make that choice. You know, I, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Um, you're going to have to replace me here. And, and unfortunately the way that it was is I was, I was a contractor and the contractors had no opt out at all. Just that's it. So here I am, I'm training, I'm training the new guy and the place starts closing down to guess. It starts doing checkpoints. I now have to wear a mask on the floor as if anyway, because I'm unvaccinated. So this is happening. It's not a war zone, by the way. Let's just, it's not a war zone. Anyway, so I train this guy and then, and then it comes, we're getting like right up to the end, right up to the end. And I get a call from, from my boss that says, Hey, you know, sorry, we're going to have to lay you off. We just don't have the funding for, for the position. I mean, we're, we, we're all taking pay cuts here. So here I am. And, you know, I'm, so I could be totally pissed about all of these things. And yeah, there's a little bit inside that, that I'm like, you know what? I'm affected by this and i'm saying and i'm understanding that so are other people right i've been see i i work in av oh, like that that was one of the first things to go <laughs> unbelievable right they said hey we're limiting the amount of of group group functions or whatever they they call it and uh so that was that's av that's that's the industry i'm in that's the industry i've been in for you know almost 10 years well Okay, so I don't have it that bad compared to some of my other, some of the other people I know. Um, so, and I'm, I'm sorry about that guys I, and gals. I, I hope that, uh, that everything's going well for you and you're able to, to get through this. Um, so just one, one little observation I wanted to make because something that I do love doing is people watching. I don't know. I always have. I love it. I love coming up with stories for people in my head. Where are they from? What are they doing? What are, what are they thinking right now? You know, like all this, all this stuff. So with they're wearing masks now and gloves, right? So you can definitely tell who's like, and you, you can take it either way. You can say, Hey, those people are really awesome for being socially conscious and they're just going to, save the world with their mask and gloves or you can be like whoa they really bought this hook line and sinker um 
So I, I went out yesterday and I tried to get a new one of these. Nope. All gone. All gone. Everybody. And I, I was thinking, you know what? Uh, I'm in the market for a new bandana. It's been a while. Well, nope. Nope. Because uh, the only ones they had left were camo pink and pink. Now I got two pink, one for the girls and, and one for my wife. And uh, which is awesome, right? Because uh, they, they need bandanas. Not to protect themselves, but just they just need them. I mean, heck. Uh, they're they're awesome. They're they keep the sun off your neck. <laughs> you know what I mean? They make you look like a bank robber. You know, it's always good. It's always good to look like a a a, a bank robber um, from time to time. You know, uh, so I I just want to say that um, these people now now so that so that those are the people out in in like the market and stuff, right? But then you have the people that are wearing the masks inside their cars which i haven't quite pinpoint pinpointed what that uh, i mean i i did see a guy he had it down right so i get it i get it okay he's ready he's pulling into the supermarket parking lot he's gonna get out the car he doesn't have to fumble with it he just pull it pulls it up and he's good okay i get that right what i don't get is the people that are driving down the road wearing the mask inside their car. All I know is that when I was, when I was at the hospital, for those like two, uh, geez, it was almost a month, they made me wear a mask on the floor. I mean, honestly, I was wearing a mask probably, I don't know, 80 to, I'd say 50 to 80% of the day. So, <laughs> hello, munchkins. Uh, so anyway, uh, terrible, terrible. So why you'd be, I mean, the fear that you must have or what you must have been convinced of to wear your mask, like my fighting Irish stance, to wear your mask inside the car. All right, well, I'm going to leave you with that one, guys and gals so hey thanks for the subscriptions let's get, let's get that number up i'd like to do some live shows i'm kind of all over the place but you know they, they should be fun i'll say some stupid stuff i'll stumble i'll mumble i'll say um ah and uh i almost did the chicka chicka but i i decided you know that's been it's been a little played so ladies and gentlemen thanks for joining me on Aquabrains TV's first ever State of the Drunian. <laughs> so go ahead and comment too, whether, whether or not you like that, if I should keep rolling with the State of the Drunian. Anyway, hey, I'm going to let you go. This has been fun. All right. Peace. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you know when we put new videos out. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Brain Aqua. This has been Aqua Brain TV. Remember to keep your head up and keep those knees bent. <laughs>